What up guys, this is Eclipse from uh, Team Ruthless. Uh, here with some more Damon X Machina videos. Uh, this one I'm going to be talking about uh, PvP and how I think they can fix it. Um, there's a lot of things that are either broken or underpowered in PvP. And I think there's a lot of um, things you can do for for the game to make it, make it way better. Like, there's just... There's just so much potential in this game, just like most of the Armor Core series, even though this isn't entirely Armor Core, but there's just so much in this game that they could do better. And uh, I, I'm still having fun when, when I can get into PvP matches. That's the other thing. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted a video talking about it. And, um, guys, I'm still down for matches. I know I haven't really been on <laughs> lately. I've been really busy this week. And, um... But I'm back to it. Um, I have been streaming, but I haven't been streaming Damon X Machina. I've been streaming Divinity Original Sin 2 with uh, uh, some of my Team Ruthless buddies. Uh, you guys are always welcome to come join my stream if you guys ever have the chance. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, back to PvP. Um, yeah, I just think there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. And right now the game kind of forces you to play away. Which sucks. Sucks to have all this customization, all these different kinds of weapons, just to kind of be forced into like two or three different kind of builds, especially if you want to be, if you want to win. Now, first and foremost, devotion. <laughs> yeah, listen, we might as well bring it up first because it's probably the biggest problem with the game. Um, but yeah, devotion is just too good. Um, I. <sighs> Honestly, I hate healing weapons in in games like this, point blank, period. Maybe, I don't think there was any we healing weapons in Armored Core, and maybe that's why I don't like them. I don't hate the Splendor. Throwing a uh, VP Restoration Zone, I think, is a really cool idea, and I would love to see this utilized, especially in team play. It just sucks that, you know, 2v2s were kind of dead on arrival. Um, but... Uh, I think this could be get buffed to be real. I like to see. I don't even. Yeah, I, throw a bigger field out. Um, you still it's a small field you have to shoot out, but a big field you can throw out. I think would be really cool. Um, especially for team play. But other than that, uh, devotion. I think devotion needs to turn into a heal over time. If anything, and it has to. It has to be a way slower. I'm talking about maybe a fourth of the speed uh, as it would be standing in a VP, uh, VP zone. It has to be really slow. And maybe you have to turn on the uses. People shouldn't be able to use it 10, 10 times. Maybe two max. Like, uh, I hate to see something get totally taken out of the game because of balance issues. But I think they should really change how this weapon or, yeah, this shorter weapon works. Again, I think uh, HOT is the best bat heal over time. Um, just make it really slow <laughs> and make it, I don't know, maybe your stamina drains a little bit more when you're using it or something. Like, there's got to be a, a way higher, there's got to be a risk reward factor to this weapon. Right now, there is none. Okay, you lose your shorter weapons, but let's be honest, most of the shorter weapons are not that great. Um, blitz weapons, I feel like blitz weapons should do more damage. Um, they can be destroyed. You only have, what, four that you can shoot out at a time? The, um, I like the concept. I'm glad they're not OP like the funnels in Gundam Versus. But, uh, the fact that they can be destroyed, I feel like these should be buffed. Um, at least the damage. I feel like the damage is really bad. Railguns, um, I think when using these... Your lock-on range should increase. Like you should be able to fire at it and hit somebody from quite a distance. Um, the range on these is 450. I don't think I have a helmet that has 450 range in the game, so I'm not even. You can't even utilize it to its full extent. Um, again, I think you should up the range on this and maybe have it so when you use it, you're. Do you have um you can actually lock on someone from a bit further away. You have to stand still you don't have to stand still, but you have to be on the ground in order to use it. Um it has a really fast bullet speed and it does a lot of damage. I'm not saying it's above that, but you should be able to fire it 
from quite a distance. Cannons, eh. All these I think are fine. Like there is what it is. Like these are, these are okay. I don't think there's, I think they're in a good space. I think if you buff these, they'll be a little bit OP. Daily drive. This is a PVE weapon. Like that's fine. It's fine to have PVE weapon, e weapons in a game. That's all good. Uh, Garuda. I personally don't think this weapon is broken. I see a lot of people think this is the next thing after Devotion. I personally don't think it's broken. I think maybe because I'm one of the people who are using it <laughs> a lot, but I don't think it's broken. I think they're easy to avoid. I don't think they're doing enough damage for them to be OP, but um, it is what it is. I think they should leave them alone. Don't buff them. Don't decrease them. Uh, the Gruda ones are good. I think the homing could be a little bit better, but uh, those are fine too. Um, these... I don't know about these either, <laughs> to be real. Um, the integrated lock-on weapons, I think the lock-on system has to be a little bit faster or something. I don't know. These need a bigger ammo count, personally. Uh, 50 is not great. I think these will be a good um, counter to Devotion if they actually were, you had way more ammo and they were actually more accurate. I think this would be a good counter to Devotion. But the fact that the, these are good in like PvE against bosses, and even then, they're not all that. So uh, these could be uh, have a little buff. Uh, most of these I don't really use. All the weapons that kind of go in the air, eh, they could be better. This is, um, these are PVE weapons, in my opinion, <laughs> which is fine to have PVE weapons. But but most for most of all the bullet weapons besides snipers, they all need a bullet speed increase. Um, even, even machine guns. I know people say those are next after, um, snipers, but these need a, uh, almost all weapons across the board need some kind of speed or, or better accuracy or something. Like, the bullet speed are just too slow for the hit, uh, people, um, with speed builds. I think these also could need a speed, um, increase. And the stagger. The stagger that you get after getting hit with a rocket launcher you get some iframes after getting blown away they have to get rid of those iframes those iframes are a little ridiculous they kind of make grenade launchers useless even if you are getting hits with it the fact that they get iframes and there's really nothing you can do about it kind of dumb um handguns i feel like they should have more power personally um i wish they were more like hand cannons and not hand guns like they should do way more damage in my opinion um, maybe even have, again, all bullet weapons probably need a higher weapon speed to be viable. Uh, fail knots, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with these. These things are kind of useless too, because the, the, not the fail knot, the punishments. Because the fail knots are so better, um, than the, the fail knot. Actually, if they fix fire rate, you guys gotta fix fire rate. Fire rate is trash in this game. I don't know why. But reload speed should not be better than fire, fire rate. If you have a five five bullets in the chamber, I shouldn't be able to outspeed you with one bullet in the chamber because my reload speed is that high. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, laser weapons. All laser weapons in the game need to use less lasers. <laughs> Maybe not the charged ones that shoot the beam, but all the other ones, they need to use way less femto. All of them. The propeller tank is really good for using femto weapons, but still, if you try to go with, you should be able to do a laser build, pure laser build, and then maybe use a propeller weapon and not have to worry about your femto. Um, but if you try to do a pure what laser only build, you'll run out of femto and you're really just running around trying to um, fly over the femto spots to get more femto. I just they need. They need to use less femto um and maybe even up the damage to some of them like you gotta you already have a you have an ammo count and maybe this should be unlimited ammo too like there gotta be some kind of benefit to using laser weapons over bullet weapons like they have ammo and they have a femto user so you gotta wait for it to charge and you can run out of ammo it just sucks they just suck, man. They no, I don't see the point of using them in PvE or PvP at all. 
Somebody told me to try one of the charge weapons, and they might work for a close range build, but I still don't. I still don't think they're good enough, man. They look. They gotta lower the femto usage, and like maybe even give them a limited ammo, and raise the speed, man. Melee weapons. I think melee weapons are fine. I think the only thing about the femto blades is they should not use femto if you didn't hit anybody. It's kind of stupid that they use femto even if you miss. So if you try to swing at someone three times, you're out of femto. I think that's dumb. I think they shouldn't use Fento until until you're out of um until you hit them. Um, these these aren't bad. <laughs> I don't use them very often, but these aren't bad. I I feel like they could use more range. Maybe they should have more range in the swords. But other than that, these aren't bad. Um, I leave them where they are for now. But those aren't bad. Shoot or art guns, I think are fine. Um, flamethrowers, they need more range. Uh, maybe, yeah, they need way more range. Like it, it be, it's cool. It'd be cool to see close range flamethrower builds. I think flamethrowers also could be a way to defeat players with devotion. But the fact that they don't do that much damage, and uh, they do pretty decent damage, but they're kind of useless without mods. Like let's be real. The range and the damage isn't enough standalone, so you gotta have to farm mods in order to, for in order for them to be any decent. Um, so I think they just need to up the range on them. You could probably leave the damage alone because the stamina it does, it takes so much um, stamina from people, but they could probably just up the range on them. A rosy guns. I also thought this might be a good weapon to get go against people using devotion. But no, um, the the range is, the bullet speed is just too slow. I think that's my only complaint. The damage is okay, but the bullet speed is way too slow. The bullet speed for this needs to be up there with the snipers. And then I, I honestly think if you raise this bullet speed up to like around where the snipers were, you could probably beat people with using devotion. The defensive debuff it does, it'd probably be too good to be real. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But these still need a, a buff or something. Maybe even make them into like acid throwers. Kind of like a flamethrower that except acid. That might be a cool way to use them. Um, the gravity gun. I don't even like this thing in PvE. I think it looks cool, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this thing yet. I don't think it absorbs. I don't know. I don't really like it. Um... I, and I don't know what to do with it, to be real. If you guys have any idea for the gravity gun in PvE or PvP, let me know. I think it just looks cooler than and everything than the actual damage it does. I think I have a video of me using it on somebody. And I, I don't know. I, I didn't feel like it did anything. It just looks cool. Maybe if it uh, absorb all kinds of ammo. I don't know. But yeah, that's just um how I feel. Oh, shields. Shields are fine. <laughs> I feel like shields will always be up, though. You shouldn't have to hit a button in order to block. That's my only complaint about shields. And you should be able to hit people with them. Like, if you get close, you should be able to punch them right in the mouth with the fucking shield. That'd be so lit. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, grenades, probably, probably a faster throwing time. But other than that, I think most of these auxiliaries are fine. Um, radar jamming is actually really... It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I think it's a good find where it's at. Um, but yeah, the my my other complaint about PvP right now is I personally think they have to get rid of the. And again, I'm someone who doesn't really care about the ranking system, but there's really no point of doing versus play ranking when you can just go to duels and boost your rank i think that's how most of these players are getting their rank up nowadays um which is kind of lame man to be honest like uh, it just it kind of gets rid of there's no point in doing pvp like why do pvp when you can go and do duels and then you can beat up people who don't even pvp because they were just fucking playing around there's so many times where i'm just like 
shooting it. And now we have to wait 60 seconds for the match to end. So I'm kind of just shooting at stuff. And somebody will walk in front of my bullet. So I have to so he tried to challenge me. And the dual system is kind of cool. Like, I like the concept of it. But I don't think it should affect your BR. Like, people are just farming it. And it's kind of ridiculous on how high people are, How many points you get for beating somebody with no fucking BR points. Like, you can beat somebody with no BR points. I've seen players with, like, 10 million BR. They beat somebody with no BR points. And they get another 2 million BR points. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, granted, I'm someone who don't care about rankings. But... The fact that people are just farming it, it's kind of lame. I feel it, it kind of ruins um, the incentive of PvP. And with that being said, less people are queuing up for PvP. And with that being said, it's hard for me to find matches. Nobody's freaking queuing for PvP anymore. Granted, this game is starting to die out slow because, you know, there's a lot of good titles coming out. Pokemon's around the corner. Um... Outer Worlds just came out. That game looks really good. Uh, Call of Duty just dropped. You know, there's a lot of big major titles coming out. So, of course, this game... Of course, the population was going to start to die down a little bit. And I do expect the game to spike up um, when the up updates drop. But at the same time, if PvP doesn't really boost... PvP doesn't really come alive. I don't think this game will last much longer. Um... If it's even alive right now. Every time I get into a match, I have to wait for a while now. When queues used to be instant. Um, it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks that this game is dying so quick. Uh, I guess it's been a month, but still. You know, my control is about to die, guys. What am I doing? Alright, but yeah. Um, I think that's all I have to say about PvP. Um, I'm still down... Uh, to do 2v2s, 1v1s, guys, everyone on my friend list and stuff. And if you guys are interested in YouTube, just add me. I'm down for private matches. Again, I don't really care about ranking, so that's just not that important to me. I just love to get in matches, and I love to try things out and try new builds. Um, but, yeah, that's all. Sorry, no gameplay. This video is probably way longer than I thought it, <laughs> I wanted it to be. But, yeah, I might do another video about the state of the game. Um... But yeah, they, they have to do some stuff in order to increase the, the population for the game. And it could still, still, could be pretty good, man. If they just listen to the fans and honestly, they got to be, they, they plan on nerfing and patching a bunch of stuff with the update. But it's what, been like two, three weeks and nothing. Like PvP has to be fixed pronto, man. Especially when it's a big problem like devotion. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. All right, though. I'm out, guys. Thanks for uh, listening to me rant. Um, you guys be safe. Deuces.